Hey everybody, this video is a little bit different because it's actually being recorded by Zoom rather than my normal screen capture tools. So what's happening here is I have my video capture, my audio capture, Unreal Engine, all running on the same computer and then feeding into Zoom yet again on the same computer and Zoom is then doing the recording. So in this way, with a single computer, I can have all my video and audio capture and use my Unreal Engine environments as my virtual world for Zoom meetings. So let's take a look at how that setup works. So I will go ahead and share my screen here and make sure I get the Unreal Engine up first and then share my screen. Okay, so here's Unreal Engine and we're gonna need three software tools to make this work. Basically, we're gonna need NDI plugin for Unreal Engine, that's from the SDK. That's going to allow me to put an NDI broadcaster right here into my engine. So I can hit stop for a moment. And the NDI broadcaster really ultimately just creates this camera in the Unreal Engine. And this viewport from that camera is then an NDI. It's a virtual camera feed uh, that can be either internal to the computer or broadcast over your ethernet, your network. So to get that tool for free, you simply go to ndi.tv slash SDK. And on that page, just scroll to the bottom and make sure then that you uh, download and install the SDK for Unreal Engine from NDI. I have another tutorial on, on how to set up that broadcaster. Uh, and I'll have all the links for all of this in the description, of course. Okay, so now the Unreal Engine world is being broadcast and I'm going to hit play. So I'm playing an editor. I have an actor that's demoed in the tutorial for activating the video feed. So you can actually see that in Zoom right here. And now we need to get that into Zoom. So we're broadcasting NDI. We need to get that into Zoom. And for that, we're going to need some uh, another free tool, and that's NDI Tools. So NDI Tools, again, it's from the uh, folks at NewTek. Uh, it's a free download. So just scroll down here, download that. And it installs a number of different tools. And one of them that we're really interested in is this NDI Virtual Input. What NDI virtual input will do is take any NDI feed either from within your computer or on your network and convert that into being a virtual webcam on the machine that virtual input is running. So I'm running Unreal Engine. It's outputting video from a cine camera as an NDI source. And if I launch virtual input, here's my NDI virtual input, it ends up being in the tray. It's right here. If I right click, I can choose my source. So I am uh, actually sharing with another NDI tool. I'm sharing my screen and that's how my hologram works on my desk. But I'm also uh, sharing the UE4 NDI broadcaster camera. And that's what's selected here as the virtual source for this virtual input. So now inside the computer, virtual input makes it look like there's a web camera available and it just happens to be relaying the NDI feed. So then I can go ahead into Zoom itself and check into video settings and select new tech NDI video. So there I am. That is the camera from Unreal Engine running now on this computer as my video source for my Zoom meeting. One last step and that is our audio. And for audio, I'm using this tool called Voice Meter, M-E-E-T-E-R, Potato. Really strange name, but really powerful software. In fact, it's donationware. So you can download it, install it for free, and test it out. And really, the only impact uh, that you have functionally uh, before donating is that uh, every once in a while, you get a little message saying, hey, don't forget, you can donate. This is donationware. Um, it's very inexpensive, by the way, to donate as well. So uh, what this software does is allow us to incorporate a delay effect into the pipeline in audio between the microphone and the actual uh, video source that's going to ultimately use that audio. So in this case, here's Potato. I have a hardware input from my Yeti microphone going into channel one. Channel one is being fed to a delay effect over here. I have this delay effect set way up. It's 520 milliseconds. Um, this is feeding the signal from the microphone to the delay effect. And right here, this B1 is feeding this microphone directly into a virtual output 
B1. These A outputs are hardware outputs, B outputs are virtual. And over here on our output bus, we can see uh, the microphone signal going out of the virtual output B1. Uh, right here is the contribution of the delay to that output. So it turns out just running potato in between my hardware microphone and the uh, Zoom meeting audio input gives me just about enough delay. Uh, so I have that turned off at the moment. But if I wanted to feed just the delay to Zoom, I could do that by deactivating the B1 output on the direct mic and instead dialing up the amount of the delay signal getting into the B1. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. And now there'll be delay between when I say something and this bar graph goes up and when this bar graph goes up. So you can see that delay in play right now. All right, I'm gonna deactivate. And for now, I'll just stick to my direct microphone. Finally, we go back to Zoom, check into the settings. And in this case, I'm gonna use the audio settings just to make sure that my voice meter output is selected. And that's it. This is how you can use Unreal Engine virtual environments as your virtual environments for Zoom meetings on a single computer. Hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.